Hi guys. Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about one product that I got recently for my birthday and it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Eyeshadow Cream and I have it in number 7 Golden Apricot. This is really good, it's really new um, out from Estee Lauder and they have a few colours like pinks and slate greys and think like a greeny colour. I'm not too aware of them, um, but this one's um, the one I got. Yeah, so I've really enjoyed um, playing with this for a few days. This is what it looks like. Um, it is um, a golden sort of sand colour, uh, maybe darker than sand, and um, it has like a gold shimmer um, inside. It kind of smells like foundation but that's okay, no one smells your eyes anyway. <laughs> so, um, I found at first it was kind of hard to um, uh, use the product, you had to really warm it up. But apart from that, it, it really does stay in place and it's supposed to um, stay in place for about 15 hours, so that will be interesting. What I've really enjoyed using about this is um, I, you can use it as like a highlighter instead of just like a, an eyeshadow because, you know, most people have like white um, highlights or shimmery silvers or pearly golds and um, this one's a little darker it's a little bit more extreme if you may and um, I think this will be so good for the summer because it will really emphasize like that golden bronze tanned look that you might have or that theme that you're going on you know with nude lips or golden lips and um you know, like bronze blush and whatnot, and this this will just like really add it. It will make your eyes pop, especially if you do coat this all over your eyelids, and then you put some sort of gold shimmery or copper or I don't know any warm tone like dazzle dust glitter pot or some you know something like that. I think this is a really good base for that. It will it will like sort of um, shine through as well, if you may, and um. I think it, will, it really picks up uh, the intensity of that like glitter dust or dazzle dust whatever you're using. I have tried it and it really it really looks good I must say. Now I have it on my eyelids um eyelids no I have it on my brow bone right now as a highlighter if you can see and so you know I have my pencil uh, which actually is dark green so I was trying something out and I really like it and my brown eyeshadow and then here you can see it's just like this warm golden and I've kind of like um, tried to um, uh, blend it, <laughs> can't think of my words today, tried to blend it with um, my eyeshadow and I, I just think it looks really nice and different and um, and so far so good, it has stayed on, it does stay on really nicely. It's not something where you can't like take it off with a simple makeup remover, but it does It does stay in place, it does. It stays put even when you put other things on, because it kind of gives you that sort of, um, as I said, nice base to hold anything else on. Now it is a nice um, eyeshadow just to wear on its own, but I think it looks really nice, as I said, if you put something on top, or if you use like a matte brown or a plum sort of purple in the crease and in the V of your eyes, I think that will look really beautiful. It's also a, like a, a sort of summer evening sort of look because, you know, in the summer you don't necessarily want to have that smoky eye look, but you want something quite, quite there but not you know, maybe not as intense, maybe not as dark, still bringing out this, you know, because summer evenings are generally lighter than the winter, so you can have that sort of goldy look and then intensify it, make it darker, make it smoky without overloading your eyes with just black or, you know, slate grey. So um, I think that that would be really nice. Um, I don't know how much it is because I got it for a birthday present, but... Um, I don't. I think it'd be pretty much worth it, actually, just trying one of them out at least if you want to. Um, yeah, there's nothing much more to say about it, but um, I, I really do. I really like this product, and I, I think I will actually get another color because they seem to work um, really well just with my skin tone, and it's not a color that I have actually. You know, I have neutral tans and I have um, golds, but this is kind of like a a really beautiful peachy colour. Um, yeah, so. People who have been watching my uh, NARS video, um, I'm sorry I didn't ever wear the lip gloss or um, 
pencil for that matter to show you what it would look like on my lips but I have it on today so you can see it here I uh, don't know if you can see it very clearly but I, I really I really really enjoy that um, that lip gloss um, it does you know it does look like a lipstick with a gloss on top or you know it depends how much you put on it and I especially like the pencil because it's very soft and you know sometimes you put lip pencils on and then you can't really like um, you know move your lips with it because it's kind of dry and it like just you can't you have to use like a brush instead but this you can really like rub your lips together and then apply that gloss on however much you want you know the more you put on it kind of looks more plump and um, and the less you put on it can just look like a very a very cute gloss on top and um, I think even the lip pencil would look really nice as just like a matte a sort of matte color lipstick kind of I think it looks really nice on its own it does maybe highlight a little little more of your creases on your lips so that's not exactly the look that is great at the moment but I think I can you know mix and match it up with some lip balm or maybe a clear gloss but I think you can just um, wear them two just really um, wear that on its own just really nicely so um, yeah I just wanted to give you a little review on that anyway I'm rambling I don't want to ramble <laughs> hope you enjoyed this and I talk to you soon